वेलकम टू वेट्स अप एवरी टाइम वी गो टू द डॉक्टर वी हैव आर बी पी चेकड वॉट डज इट इंडिकेट अबाउट आर हेल्थ ब्लड प्रेशर यूजली वेरीज थ्रू आउट द डे डिपेंडिंग ऑन द पोजिशन ऑफ द बॉडी ब्रीदिंग रिदम फिजिकल कंडीशन मेडिकेशन यू टेक स्ट्रेस लेवल वॉट यू ईट एंड ड्रिंक एंड इवन ऑन द टाइम ऑफ द डे दिस इंडिकेट्स अ नॉर्मल एक्टिव लाइफ बी पी इज यूजली लोएस्ट एट नाइट वाइल स्लीपिंग एंड राइज इज शार्पली ऑन वेकिंग Let us learn more about blood pressure. What is blood pressure? Blood pressure is defined as the pressure of the blood in the circulatory system of the body. It is a measure of the force with which the blood pushes against your arteries as it circulates in your body. Blood pressure is not constant. It rises and falls naturally during the day. However, if it stays too high over an extended period of time, it can lead to health problems. It is closely related to the force and the rate of the heartbeat and the diameter and elasticity of the arterial walls. Normal blood pressure is vital to a healthy life as blood delivers oxygen, nutrients, white blood cells, antibodies and even hormones like insulin through our arteries to all tissues and organs. Blood picks up toxic waste such as carbon dioxide from our lungs and other toxins cleared by our liver and kidneys. This cannot be accomplished without blood pressure. However, your BP can become dangerously high as well as dangerously low. Why is it important to maintain a healthy blood pressure? Pressure in the blood is created by your heart when it pumps the blood through the blood vessels. Without it, the blood will be unable to course through our entire body thus depriving it of oxygen. Healthy arteries are elastic by nature and they can adapt by stretching when the pressure varies occasionally on the higher side but what happens when your bp is high constantly for a longer period of time say a couple of months it can damage your arteries and other organs so for your arteries and other organs to stay healthy it's important that your blood pressure is within a healthy range blood pressure chart use the blood pressure chart below to see what your numbers mean this bp chart is suitable for all adults of any age Also note the level for high blood pressure does not change with age blood pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury mmhg and is written as two separate numbers like this the top number is your systolic pressure the highest pressure when your heart muscles squeeze and pump out blood the bottom one is your diastolic pressure the lowest pressure when your heart muscles relax between beats blood pressure range The next chart shows ranges of low, high and normal blood pressure readings. If your BP is 90 over 60 or less, you may have low blood pressure. More than 90 over 60 and less than 120 over 80, your blood pressure reading is normal and healthy. More than 120 over 80 and less than 140 over 90, you have a pre-hypertension or a stage 1 high blood pressure. Doctors may recommend a healthy lifestyle and diet changes to correct it while suggesting frequent blood pressure checks. 140 over 90 or higher over a number of weeks, you may have high blood pressure or stage 2 hypertension. After testing repeatedly for an extended period of time, if the blood pressure is found elevated, you will be prescribed medication to control it. Normal blood pressure range: more than 90 over 60 and less than 120 over 80. According to the American Heart Association this BP reading is considered normal blood pressure for men and women. If your systolic or diastolic reading is less than 120 80 mm of mercury then it is normal and indicates good health and low chances of stroke and other cardiovascular problems such as heart disease. If your systolic pressure is between 120 and 139 mm Hg and your diastolic pressure is between 80 and 89 mm Hg then it is considered elevated however it is not treated with medications this elevated blood pressure is also called stage 1 hypertension the doctor may recommend lifestyle changes and ask you to regularly get your blood pressure tested to monitor it for any further changes high blood pressure high bp is called hypertension if your systolic or diastolic readings are consistently more than 140 90 mm hg g over a number of weeks then you probably have hbp or hypertension if you have hypertension then this higher pressure puts extra strain on your heart and blood vessels 
according to the CDC, one of three U.S. adults, 75 million people approximately, have hypertension. However, most don't notice it, which means that over time, it can damage blood vessels. Having blood pressure that is always too high increases your risk to have a stroke, a heart attack or kidney problems. The higher your blood pressure, the greater your risk of developing these medical conditions. HBP is also closely linked to some forms of dementia. Low blood pressure Low BP is called hypotension. A systolic pressure reading lower than 90 mm of mercury and a diastolic reading of less than 60 mm Hg for the bottom number diastolic is generally considered low blood pressure. The causes of low hypotension can vary from dehydration to surgical disorders to serious medical conditions. It's important to find out what's causing your low BP so that it can be treated. While BP readings on the lower side is desirable, one must be wary of any sudden drop in blood pressure. Also, while there are no specific symptoms, an abnormally low blood pressure hypotension, can cause dizziness and fainting. In severe cases, hypotension can even be life-threatening. Risk Factors and Causes A number of factors and variables can put you at a greater risk of developing hypertension. Understanding these risk factors can help you be more aware of how likely you are to develop blood pressure issues. Some factors that may contribute are being overweight or obese, having too much salt or sodium in your diet, having too little potassium in your diet, low vitamin D, high cholesterol, lack of physical activity, drinking too much alcohol, chronic conditions such as diabetes or kidney disease, sleep apnea and stress. Signs and Symptoms most people with high blood pressure above 140-90 mmHg but less than 180-120 mmHg will not experience any visible symptoms. That's the reason most people call hypertension as the silent killer. However, if your blood pressure is close to 180-120 mm of mercury, it is called a hypertensive crisis which is a medical emergency. At this stage, symptoms will show some of them are nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, blurred or double vision, nosebleeds, heart palpitations and breathlessness. Anybody who experiences these symptoms should see their physician immediately. People who have received a diagnosis of hypertension should get frequent blood pressure checks. Individuals whose readings are within the normal range should get tested at least once every year. Meanwhile, others with risk factors or a family history of hypertension should have more frequent checks. Managing your BP Talk to your doctor to figure out the proper plan for managing your BP. But overall, you should keep a healthy diet, exercise regularly and avoid things like smoking and drinking if you want to keep your heart healthy. Take your medications regularly and try to keep stress under control. Remember, when your heart is happy, you stay happy too. If you've enjoyed watching this video, do like, comment and subscribe to our channel.